Okay, caught here a uh, pretty small bass. I don't know how big it is. I'll try to get it for you. I don't know if you can see it. Caught it on a pumpkin seed worm. Wait. <clears throat> I'll try to. Here. Look how deep the hook got in. Not not even that deep. I could just pull it out right now. So here it is, nice largey. And I got a good hook set on that one, I don't know. Because the hook's kinda dull and this one's been eating. Look at the stomach on this thing. And this is probably mm, I would say like 12 almost 12 12 and a half inches I don't think it's a 13 inch bass yet but this one's been hooked before yeah it has mine was right there this been this one's been hooked plenty of times so this is a recycled fish that's nice so and kind of high on the water there's no bank to release it so it's just gonna go safely back into the water to be caught another day so yeah we just barely got here my brother over there doing a little bit of carp fishing uh, due to Johnson's success on catching that real big monster carp so I'm gonna be bass fishing today it's a Saturday and for like around two hours, so I'll see what I can catch for y'all guys in two hours. Uh, we think I think today's gonna be a good day of fishing. I just th uh, think that wasn't the color lure since the water's really clear. I don't know if y'all guys can see it. Just polarized sunglasses. It's pretty clear today. So I'll come back to you if I catch any more fish. Yeah. Okay, so just caught another bass here. I don't know. This one's a little smaller than the last one. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. We're at a high bank, so I can't really fight it. I'm gonna have to bring it up. This one has more coloration to it, and I caught it on a on a, a Berkeley Power Hog Power Bait series. Uh, and uh, this one's actually putting up a pretty good fight. Hey, Richard, can you hold the Is it recording? Yeah, I'm bringing it up. Look at it right behind the eye. This one actually ate it pretty good. This one has a pretty small mouth compared to its body. So here, here on the on the what do you call it, Berkeley Power Hog. And there's no, like I said, there's no the water's pretty high right now, just like barely rain. I'm pretty yeah, this one's been hooked before too. Uh and yeah, we're gonna have to throw it back in the water gently, if possible. So here it is, a uh, nice, this is probably a 10 inch bass. It's pretty fat for being a 10 inch bass. Most 10 inch bass are pretty skinny. So here it goes back in the water. Recording? Yeah. Okay, you will not believe this. I threw it. Oh, you still got it? Yeah. I threw it over there, where you see that structure at. And as soon as I threw it in, I thought I had a bass. It pulled down my pole, took my line, and I was fighting with it. And it turned out to be a catfish. Look at it. It striked at it, too. Yeah, I didn't catch it from the tail or anything. That's what surprised me. I, he struck at the thing. And you can see how hard I set that hook. It went from there to there. <laughs> yes, it, it striked that uh, bass lure, which was, surprised me. Uh, I thought I'd record that, show that in every fisherman. Uh, as always, please subscribe. Back with uh, bass, too. It's not actually that small of a bass. So he caught, yeah. Well, we we caught it on a on a watermelon Texas rigged worm. We ran out of bullet weight, so we uh, I gave him a a weighted hook, and he, uh, all he felt was his line heavy, and he set it, and he actually got a pretty good hook set on it. Right. Yes, finally, hours of fishing for this for this moment. We've caught a bass. A pretty big one too. Yes, a pretty big one. Uh, let me try to, I'm going to show you the rod bending, because it looks like a pretty nice sized bass. And there was another one right here, so, if, uh, what's it called? 
uh, try to cast right after me. I thought what I thought I saw it was a skinnier one than that one. I didn't know I had that one. I walked over here and I jerked it when I was walking. And I, as I reeled in the slack because I was walking, uh, my line started moving, so I hooked that sucker hard. And this this thing just swallowed it. Oh, that that's pretty nice, man. We got that little picture picture. You know, bass. Yeah, picture perfect. That's what I meant to say. Bass moment. There, there's another one, but it's smaller than this one. I, I didn't I didn't know. I thought it was a gar. That's how small the other one was. It was real skinny too. So that was probably a spawning one. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna try to do for you, so we don't snap line. Looks like there's a little ditch right here. Okay. Tired already. It's tired. That's yeah. good. So what I'm gonna do? Y'all gonna see me pick it up. Right, try to get a good spot where I don't fall in. Try to get to that. What? I can get it. Okay, got it. How much do you think it weighs? This one. Three, four pounds. Oh, God, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was, too. On a watermelon Texas rig worm. It's a pretty nice size bass right there. We caught it on a uh, watermelon. Can you help? Yeah, here, hold the camera. Oh, God. There you go. Here, Edward, you hold it. Okay. This is uh, Edward's bass caught on a power worm. Wow, pretty big one. I told Edward we were going to catch a big one today. Flame Creek had to make up for the. Oh, there's like a three unsuccess. pounder right here. Yeah, three, four pounder. It's a real nice bass right here. And this one wasn't going anywhere. Look how good I hooked it right here. Straight through the bone. It's a nice hook set. That's how you want to have always have your hook sets. You don't get it where it doesn't kill the animal, well, kill the fish, and then uh, it doesn't fall off. So you can see. Easy going in, tough taking out. Yeah, that bass was not going anywhere. It's a nice uh, lateral pattern to it too. Yeah, let me get the coloration on there. And as always, the belly. Ooh, wait, wait, I'm getting bit by him, getting bit by him. Okay. Yeah, sure. Belly of the beast. Pretty nice size. Oh belly. whoa! Look at that. Has a little scar from it too. I think that's just. No, that's a scar. It's missing a scale. You sure? A little oh, cut. Wait, let me see. Wait, there's a scar he's talking about. At first, I thought that was just a misplaced butthole. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cause. The, yeah. That, okay. I was right. I think it was right. Yeah. All right. Uh, urban fisherman. As always, please subscribe. All right. Uh, well, we caught a we caught a bass here. It's pretty big. See, look at it. it's taking out my drag. Okay, try to get some plate and move down. Oh man, that's big. Okay. Hey, uh, Jonathan, can you get it? Yeah, he's reeling anymore. You gotta reel anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna pull it for you. Yeah, I want a break line. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try to. Let me see if I got it. Yeah, it's. I got it. It's a pretty big bass. Wow. Yeah, we cut it. Yeah, I think so. Did it get Uh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think they're identical sizes. Yeah, this one, this, just this one's a little fatter than this one. It was right there where I lost it too. All right, uh, fish crab. Urban fisherman here. I would walk over there, but uh, I'm trying to fish. <laughs> so uh, we caught a bass. It's uh, over there. From here, it looks kind of big. He said it's small. Who knows? Who knows with Edward? Okay, uh... Yeah, okay. He, he'll, he'll bring it over here. Okay, well... 
Well, he does that. I will be fishing. Right here. Told you. Okay, uh, he's bringing it over here. Um, I'm gonna put the camera down. Over the camera. We caught here is a nice pounder, or at least close to a pound. All right, uh, we caught that. Uh, please subscribe. Okay, uh, caught caught the first bass of the day here. I missed uh, two small ones. They wanted to bite it, and they just didn't. Uh, they didn't like the the size of the bait. I I ran out of bullet weights. And uh, had, so I switched to a, a more finesse approach, a very finesse approach, uh, a weightless Senko. And I was working it real slow, and I saw this bass come out from, from right there, from these rocks somewhere. And I was, jerk, and I was like hopping it off the bottom, jerking it, and it would, it would like, I would jerk it once, and it descend real slowly. And then I saw this bass swimming, and I'm like, wait, I think it's looking for my bait. So I started, uh, you know, working it as it was swimming and it just bit it off the ground and it it took it I think this was like a it, it ambushed my bait right here and here's the bass hopefully I can get it for you it's kind of tired uh, I'll bring it up for you and uh, just just uh, hold tight. sorry for the camera problems I uh, just got it up uh, it's it's a, it's a nice size bass uh, nah, it's, I wear a size uh, a size 10 and it is bigger than my foot. It's a pretty big bass. It's fat. It was well fed. I can tell you that much. And this one is a nice sized bass for Langham Creek. I missed two other small ones, but those were super, super small. Cute sized. And as you can see there, there's the wacky rig. This is my first fish ever on a wacky rigged worm. So, good bass of the day. And uh, I'll be back with you if there's any more fish.